G'day scientists, today I'm reviewing the KiwiCo Tinkercrate Colour Mixing LED Crystal Kit. It cost me about $20 because I have a 6 month subscription from KiwiCo. I've never used anything like this before so it will be really interesting to see how it turns out. Ok let's open up the box. Ok inside the kit here we have the Colour Mixing LED Crystal instructions and I love the instructions are always pretty clear in the KiwiCo Tinker Creek kits. Next we've got the Tinkerzine, you guys know I love the Tinkerzine. Inside the Tinkerzine, let's have a quick look, the amazing LED, a section on how colour works and how colour mixing works and how our brain sees colour, mixing light and painting a rainbow, a section about resistors and how they work, I think that's quite cool because it's mixing up bits of colour theory and colour mixing and electronics together and the Tinkerzine, I love the Tinkerzine because it always gives you extra books you can go and buy to have a read, websites you can go and have a look and more experiments. Ok let's get started. In here we've got some warnings about the batteries, this which I'm guessing is going to be a mould to create a crystal. The battery and some electronic components and I think these are switches resistors and more electronics, the base which is already assembled, it's pretty rare for the KiwiCo stuff to come already assembled but it's one less thing to do so I quite like that. Adding different coloured lights together can have some interesting effects, when red and green are mixed together the result is usually yellow and orange, this is because the human eye is most sensitive to these colours, however when red and blue light are mixed together purple is the colour that comes out. This is because blue light contains more energy than red light and when the two colours are mixed together the blue light can cause the red light to appear dimmer. Mixing all three primary lights together produces white. This is because all three lights contain the same amount of energy and when they're combined together they cancel each other out producing a neutral colour. Ah I've just understood, this is not a mould to make a crystal, <laughs> it is the crystal, not really a crystal it's a plastic case but anyway let's start assembling the kit. Prepare the base, start with the base as shown, we'll need the short wires, ok one, two, three, red, green, blue, short wires. Well that's the ground bar we need that too and then the three metal tabs here which has the batteries already in it, I love this, and a little tab there to pull it out. White sticky foam squares like that, the hole and then over like that. Ok next do the same for the red and the green, different coloured lights can also be used to create interesting optical illusions. For instance when two colours are shone together onto a white surface they can take on the colour of the combined light, and this is because our eyes interpret the wavelengths as a different colour. Ok now all the wires are facing towards the centre, step 3 pull the tab out of the battery pack, step 1 line up the brad, line up the ground bar and poke a brad through the right hand hole, then pop this over the top and rainbows are one of the most beautiful things in nature, they occur when sunlight shines through moisture in the air and then that sunlight is reflected back at us. The colours of a rainbow depend on how light is refracted or bent through these raindrops. Red light is refracted less than blue light so it appears at the top of the rainbow and blue light is refracted more than red light so it appears at the bottom of the rainbow. Next we're adding the sticky foam pads on, they're super tiny these little sticky foam pads all the way around the edges where it says here, there, there, like that, there. Slide the crystal through the large hole in the base and then press it against the edges here to secure it in place. So first of all we're going to peel off the sticky backing, perfect. Now stick the battery pack to the back of the base with a white rectangle foam pad, like so there we go, and then you can see the switch is like neatly aligned on that hole there. 
is beginning to come together and look quite cool, even just a few small steps. Hi, we need the RGB LED. We need the medium wires. Then we need two tan resistors and one blue resistor and gray foam squares. Cool, okay. Next, we slide the T-bar through the base's left slot and slide it across to the right slot. Then we're taking two gray foam stickers and sticking them and then the circular one. Look closely at these pins, or look at these pins. They are all completely different um, lengths here. So short takes blue, then green, then red. Sticking our LED in there. Leave about half the wire on each side. Okay, cool. And we're connecting them together with a blue resistor. Blue resistor attached. Then we're going to take the blue and green, do the same. What happens next? Our yellow goes on to, of course, the last remaining pin on the LED. You can see it's going blue. And then we're going to take the green one and it goes green. Then we're going to take the red one and it goes red. Now we can take combinations of colors together. So earlier on I said red and green makes yellow. Let's put it on. There we go, yellow, pretty cool. And then red and blue, we said purple. Yes, purple, oh that's a beautiful color. What about green and blue? Aqua, lovely. And all of the colors at the same time. White, just as we predicted. Now rainbows can appear in many different forms, dependent on the number of raindrops in the air and the angle of the sun. A single rainbow is called a primary rainbow. If you see a second fainter rainbow above that primary rainbow, that's called a secondary rainbow. And if you see a third even fainter below the primary rainbow, it's called a tertiary rainbow. Rainbows can also appear as complete circles. They are called full circle or 360 degree rainbows. They're much rarer than arced rainbows because you need to be high in the sky looking down on the raindrops for the entire circle to be visible. Sometimes you can see them when you're flying in a plane and looking down and seeing the circular rainbow. And the center of that circular rainbow is where you are seated on the plane. Next time you're flying, check it out. Bending light with crystals is a phenomenon that's been known about for centuries. It was first observed by scientists in the 17th century. This bending of light is caused by the refractive index of the crystal, which is a measure of how much a crystal bends light. The higher the refractive index, the more light is bent. Bending light with crystals is used in many applications. One of the most common is in optics, where it is used to create lenses and mirrors. It is also used in medical imaging, such as x-rays and in telecommunications. Right now, I will have passed through crystals bending light over the internet to get to you. Okay, this kit was actually quite good fun. It was simple and quick to make, but the effect is quite beautiful. It's not very complicated, and it actually teaches you quite a bit about color mixing at the same time. I think it's a bit of a cheat calling this a crystal when it's not really a crystal, but I'm gonna let you off. It is plastic, but you're gonna get reuse out of this. I'm gonna give the KiwiCo Tinker Crate LED color mixing crystal two stars for fun, two stars for price, and two stars for learning. Bye or bye bye. It's a bye, I really enjoyed making this kit. If you wanna see what I really think about crystals, check out this video here where I do a really old fashioned grow your own crystal kit.